So let's talk a little bit more about uh, why we don't want to use uh, X symmetry while we're using the project history brush. Uh, in order to do that, let's hit the comma key. And you know what, this time we'll go into project and we're just going to load up. Instead of going to file, load tool from project, if we just double click the anime, anime head, it's going to load that project. And like I said before, it's going to just get rid of everything else in our scene. So we're going to turn off floor, turn off perspective. And let's talk a little bit about what projection actually is. If we go through here and we go to append, you see we have a head, and if we turn on transparency, we have a sphere, we select the sphere. Uh, our head fits kind of with right within that sphere. So I'm going to hit uh, W, and then I'm going to scale the sphere down a little bit, just a tiny bit. And we'll kind of move this into place. So now I have history on my sphere. I can control tap that point of my sphere so it has those uh, vert positions in there. I'm going to go back to my head. I'm going to turn off transparency. If we go into solo mode, so we can just see the head, or we can go up here and we can turn off the eyeball for the sphere, uh, it disappears. And like we've done before, we can go to BHR, History Recall Brush, Turn Off X Symmetry, and now we can go through here and we can actually start projecting our head uh, to that sphere. Now you're going to see when I'm, when I'm projecting, it's camera based. So if I go through here and I'm like, oh, I'm going to grab the sphere, and I'm going from the side view here, and I'm grabbing that sphere, it's going straight back to that curvature of the sphere. So if I wanted to capture the sphere from this angle, I actually have to move my camera and start projecting down from this view to grab that sphere. If I go over here to the ear, you're going to see it's projecting in when I have my head, because if I turn that sphere on again, you know, that when I turn on transparency, the sphere is going to cut in on the head and on the ear over here, it's going to project out. Uh, the cool thing about the history recall brush is it'll do both. So if I go through here to the side, it'll project all this stuff out to the sphere. If I start going to the top, it's going to automatically project in. I don't have to hold down alt. I don't have to do anything, uh, but I do have to change my camera angle if I want it to kind of project out to the sphere. Uh, however, projection isn't magic. It's not changing the geometry. Um, you can have it be a little bit more magical if you go up here and you turn on Sculptures Pro. Uh, what that's going to do is actually it is going to change the geometry. So I'll, over here I'll do, uh, you know, on this side of his head, I'll do Sculptures Pro with Project On. And again, watch my other tutorial videos on how to do Sculptures Pro. So on the left side of his face is going to be all Sculptures Pro projection. And then on the left side of his face is going to be uh, just regular projection. And I'll show you the difference. So Sculptures Pro is going to actually change the, automatically tessellate the geometry. Uh, underneath. There we go. We've projected his head out to a sphere. Now if I turn on polyframe, you're going to see this side uh, is all tessellated based on uh, my brush size that I had for my projection brush, uh, for history recall brush with projection or uh, Sculptures Pro mode turned on. On this side, I didn't have Sculptures Pro mode turned on, and you're going to see that geometry is just literally going and sticking to the surface of what's in memory, which is that sphere. So that's the basics of what projection does and how you can use History Recall Brush uh, to make it a little, the result a little bit cleaner. So let's take our History Brush and we'll go all the way back to where we have our head sitting here. And now let's go ahead and take that sphere and we'll go ahead and delete it out of our scene. And let's go ahead and duplicate this off. I'm going to go into solo mode, so I'm just looking at this head here. And for this head, we're going to turn on X Symmetry. And we're going to go in here and we're going to use our Damien Standard Brush. And we're going to go in our Standard Brush. And we're going to uh, kind of detail this out just a little bit. In fact, let's go over here to our Dynamesh, and we're going to raise that resolution just up just a little bit. And now we can get even more detail in our ear. So now, uh, we still have solo mode turned on, but we have one head here that has detailed ear. And then to make this a little bit easier, we're going to say, hit rename and say detail ear, and then this one will just be head. So head is not detailed, detail ear is detailed ear, and it's detailed on both sides. Let's say we have head here, and I want to project that detail from detail ear to the head. There's two different ways we can do that. One, we can use the history recall brush, but let's talk a little bit about projection. So I'm going to go into BZP, which is Z project, and we can use the Z project brush on our head to get that as well. So if we turn on X symmetry, so we have X symmetry turned on. You can see the little red cursor on both sides of our mesh. I'm going to go to the side here and project. Uh, Z project is similar to history recall brush, only that we don't have to store history. We just have to have another visible subtool. So there's our visible subtool. It's our high res ear. We have our head selected. So we can go through here and we can start. I just go ahead and hit OK. We don't need the history on uh, this brush or on this tool. You can see that it's going to start projecting our mesh. And then if I need to 
uh, project out, I can hold down Alt. Now, I don't have to hold down Alt on the Z history project brush, uh, but on Z project brush I do. And it's also camera based, so I want to make sure I'm going around my object like this, and then I'm letting go of Alt and holding down Alt just to push and pull up to that surface. However, you're going to see I start getting really, really weird results. And if I go into solo mode, you're going to see oh, okay, maybe then my camera view, and I go to the other side, and it's like, whoa, what's happening? The reason why is because while I have X symmetry turned on, it's trying to project based on my camera where the verts are in my other object. And if I have X symmetry turned on, it's going to do a really bad job. So I'm going to undo all this, or just drag the undo slider back a little bit faster. And so now we have our head here, and again, our detail here showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off X symmetry, and again, just to kind of illustrate this, if I just take this and I go, okay, Z, pro Z project back, and then hold down Alt and Z project towards the camera, I go into solo mode, perfect. And then I go to the back, it's like, oh, yuck. It just, because again, it's pulling straight towards the view that you have. So again, to make, in order to get this to work right, X symmetry has to be off because you don't want to touch those verts over there and pull them through your mesh. You have to have both subtools showing. And then again, you got to move around your object. And on in the case of the Z project brush, you got to hold down Alt to pull up to a surface and then let go of Alt to push down into a surface. So it's a little bit trickier uh, to use, but you can accomplish uh, something very, very similar. So just again, just to make sure you have this in your arsenal, in your tool belt, uh, it's, it's good stuff to know just in case. So again, letting go of Alt, holding down Alt, and just kind of going through here and using our camera projection. And then you can hold down shift to smooth if you need to kind of redo an area. And if you go into solo mode, now we've done a pretty decent job of kind of projecting. We maybe get this a little bit better. And here's another thing too. Depending on your brush size, you may have to go into brush auto masking, turn on back face masking with your Z project brush again. So it's not trying to project through your mesh while you're trying to go through and like grab these details. So you can see this is a lot lot more work. Um, you know, but again, it might come in handy at some point. There we go, that's a pretty clean projection. The caveat being, because we didn't want to pull those verts through my mesh, I had to have X symmetry turned off. In this case, it's not a big deal because this is DynaMesh. So again, I can just do a mirror, mirror and weld. Deformation mirror, geometry modified topology mirror and weld, and then turn X symmetry back on and we're good to go. However, if this was Ziri Mesh and you're projecting just one side with your Z Project Brush doing cleanup, that's where you have to go in here to Deformation, Smart Resim. Just go to my YouTube channel and do a search for Smart Resim and that'll walk you through that process.